Hello guys, uh, today I've got an unboxing for you, orchid and African violets. So I've got two boxes to unbox. They they receive I received them both today, and and um, so I decided to do the, the unboxing for you guys. Uh, this one is an orchid box from uh, uh, Orchid Garden um, from Poland. So let's go ahead and open up to see what I've got in this. Uh, I already opened the top part of it. And by the way, it arrived very um, quick. I think they posted on the 7th and it arrived today, which is uh, 11th. So five days, which is good. And some packing stuff first. And now, oops other orchids here so let's go ahead and open them all so first one I've got Phalaenopsis Tyne Shin Fly Eagle times by Phalaenopsis Tetrips Tetrispis Tetrispis and see one you know the, the Phalaenopsis with um, one red and one white petal So, let's go ahead and see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's been packed. <laughs> there we go. Let's see how it looks like in, inside this. I mean, this is the first time I see them wrapping it like this. Yeah, I hope I hope they're all okay. Oh no! <laughs> Look at it, so tiny. So it's a seedling. Oh, look at it. It's nice, but I I didn't expect it to be a seedling. It said near flowering size, but this is not obviously a near flowering size. It's very smaller than the near flowering size, but it's okay. I'll, I'll grow it on. Uh, next, I have Phalaenopsis bellina. Uh, I have to tell you that I already had like about maybe two or three bellinas before I think two yeah and one seedling three bellinas before bellina are not my strongest one and they, they all died due to stem rot and so I hope I can keep this one alive and see the bloom because I'm not gonna give up until I see the bloom so yeah this one is a flowering size orchid and I can just take that so yeah good size blooming size orchid hopefully it should do well for me and I think I see already a tiny uh, blooming spike starting from the stem so yeah very healthy and nice I like that, that one next I have Dendrobium Alexandrae so I have to tell you in this order I've ordered a lot of Dendrobiums as you know um, I like dendro Dendrobiums a lot they grow very well in my condition so in my environment I mean and um, uh, so I have a lot of them in my collection and I like them a lot but some of them I mean some of the species are, are a bit finicky but not all of them most of them are doing well so this one again is kind of a seedling and very small again said near flowering but smaller than near flowering so this is dendrobium alexandrae 
very nice and healthy with the new growth coming out of it. That is tiny. Next, I have uh, okay, another dendrobium called Dendrobium uh, Proto. Protopterygium times by um, I think it was times by self semi alba. So this is I looked up actually. This is synonym for Dendrobium perishii. Um, as you know, very similar blooming like anosmum. Um, but it has a really nice bloom semi alba so it's like um, lips are um, purple and the petals are white so oh, and this is a small one too again said so near flowering size but yeah, I think it's a few years <laughs> to bloom. But it's still looking nice, very healthy, and and hopefully it will grow well for me. So this was Zendrobium rhodopterygium, rhodopterygium, um, which is synonym to Frisii. Next, I have Dendrobium Aphylum. Dendrobium Aphylum. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, with the, you know, the, the pendant uh, long canes which bloom white and, and purple. So, this one said blooming size. Okay. It looks okay. <laughs> Half deadish, dry, very dry, but I think it's due to the winter rest. And this cane was broken because it was too tall. Probably they folded. Oh no, look at that. There's two bloom. I don't know if they're gonna survive. Oh, lovely. There's two bloom spike. Um, bud, bud here. Two here and one here. Oh, that's lovely. So that's the end of one. A film. because otherwise I forget what it was. Okay, next I have Dendrobium anosmum. Oh, and again I forgot to to send me the, the cat layer that uh, they they haven't sent before. Oh no. Okay, not again. Okay, this one is Dendrobium anosmum, variegated. So, as you know, my previous uh, from my previous unboxing from Orchid Garden, I had uh, ordered a cat layer which was Miss. Uh, sent to me and it was a mistake that they sent a, a different catalyst and I emailed uh, the owner and he said oh we send it with your next order and I even 
reminded him that I'm, um, I'm going to order a new box. Can you please send it with this order? And he said, yes, I will send it with this order. But I see that he hasn't, or either he hasn't passed the message, or I don't know what's going on with this company. So they're getting big now, and they don't, they, I don't know. Things are changing. So as I see, they haven't sent it through to me either. Okay, this one is Dendrobium Adnosmum variegated. So as you can see, the leaves are a very light variegation, uh, marginal variegation. So it's called Adnosmum variegated. It's apparently a blooming size. So hopefully we bloom um, next year. But it looks very healthy and nice. So next I have Dendrobium Macrophyllum times by um, Ternance. Uh, oh, variety Ternance. Whatever. Macrophyllum is again um, one of those um, uh, Latora Dendrobium which I really like. They, they bloom really well for me and uh, they last long. Very easy to bloom. Okay, it looks big, uh, but I don't know if it's a flowering size or if it should grow more. Uh, the pseudobulbs look uh, a bit shriveled, but it's okay, they can grow but looks looks good hopefully grow well grows well for me uh, so that's dendrobium Oops. macrophyllum yeah looks okay -ish. I think it needs uh, repotting as soon as possible Unfortunately, they, as I said, they, they forgot again to send the Cattleya to me. I mean, previously when they made a mistake like that, they, they said, oh, we send it with the next order. They did, but this time, I don't know what happened. They haven't sent my previous order Cattleya, which was, which I ordered the big Cattleya, big blooming Cattleya. I'm similar to King of Taiwan, but okay. So this last but not least is another Latoria dendrobium. It's called Dendrobium Norman Norman Bayens. Norman Bayens. It's again very tiny seedling. Which you didn't say seedling. Again, near flowering size. But yeah. Near flowering size, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but the, these uh, have very nice blooming, um, really uh, nice ones. So if it grows well and big enough to bloom, then you see what I mean? But um, they are, I think the hybrid are um, those Luturia with the purple bloom uh, edges that I really like. So, yeah, but as you can see, it's a tiny seedling and it needs at least a few years, yeah, if it survives. So anyway, um, I'll tidy it up and show you what I've got. So uh, once again, just wanted to show you after unwrapping uh, all what I've got. So Dendrobium 
Alexandre. 